back to another episode of the No Filter Tattoo Podcast. Um, I'm your host, Theo, along with my other host, Bryson, Tez. And um, today, we got a very special guest, man. We got my boy, Antonio Hooks, a.k.a. Antonio404 on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yeah, hit that pause real quick. Yes, sir, man, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so, yeah, man, um, we got you on today, man. How you feeling, man? Great, bro. I'm, great. I'm feeling good. That's good, man. So your first podcast, bro? First one. All right, man. Yeah, so it's uh, – we'd like to start it off, man, just kind of talk, have a convo, get to know you a little bit more. Yeah. And then from there, man, we just kind of get the convo flowing, man. So um, I'm going to do a little intro real quick to people who, who don't know you. Um, man, you're, you're a great artist. You're versatile, but I know you're known more for your realism now. And then um, so you've been dabbling a lot more into the color realism yeah. uh, lately. Yeah. But um, so how, how many years of tattooing you got? Shit. Before Jesus. <laughs> like 20. So that means you started off with the praying hands then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I still like doing praying hands though, for some mm-hmm. reason. I like doing the veins and stuff. Yeah. But, um, Them details. 25 years. 25? 26. Damn, man. Okay, yeah. okay. No Kevin Hart. All right, bet. Yeah. So, um, that's, that's dope. You got a lot of knowledge to drop on us today. And um, that's why I think today's theme of the episode is perfect. Um. Really, we just we just dropping tattoo gems, tattoo tricks, just just really just talking tattoo talk, man. Um, kind of give us people some knowledge that I know, um, like you you was telling me before, you had to fight hard to really get, and you just really want to be able to share, yeah, you know, with the people in the new generation now, or people listening maybe who just want to better themselves have been in the game for a minute. So, um, before we get started, uh, I like to say, I remember first time I, I'm telling the story first time. I heard about you. I don't even think I met you yet. It was back at the, um, the I want to say this is uh, 2012. It was uh, Tony's Atlanta Tattoo Convention. I was yeah. getting tattooed by Craig, Craig Foster. Uh, great, great artist, if y'all don't know. Definitely check brother, him out. That's my brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, he talked highly of you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just pulled up Sunday. Uh, really, I wasn't planning on getting tattooed, and I saw he was available. So I was like, hey, bro, I'm, I'm a big fan of your work. Um, I, I would love you could do, like, a, a new school tattoo machine on me. So, um. He took me in, tattooed me, and we just started talking. And then um, Trent, Trent Hearns that came up to the booth, and that's the first time I met Trent. Yeah. Yeah, and then he gets talking to Craig, and we talk. Then um, Trent brought you up. Cause I believe like you were kind of like a mentor for him, right, in, in a lot of ways. And um, that's how and then Craig started talking about you. Like, yeah, man, you know, that's, that's my boy. That's my bro. And then um, from that point, I was like, all right, I got to meet. I got to meet Tony man. Everybody speak highly of him. Then uh, – we met at a convention. I don't, what was the first convention we, we met at? We've done so many of them. So many. Maybe at Atlanta convention. It might, it might have been like a future Atlanta convention. Yeah. Either that or maybe, maybe Space City. I don't know. Space City. Shoot. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute. Yeah. But all I know is I met you at that first convention, bro, and you, you've been a real one since then. You, you took me in and showed me, you know, the ropes at the conventions back then. It was always friendly to me and my wife. And, um... Shit, bro. So I appreciate you coming on the show, man. For sure. Yes, sir, man. For sure. Um, so Dang, we wouldn't even thought of. Huh? Yeah, I mean, really, this yeah, this is before <laughs> this is before crazy. Golden Anchor. I just feel so left out right you now. Let me say right. before Jesus. <laughs> before Jesus. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, bro. Uh, tell us, man. Like, how how you get started in tattooing? Me? Yeah. Ah, uh, it was long, hard. Um, I remember tattooing like teenager years, but we was mm-hmm. doing like jailhouse shit. Okay, like stick and poke, or you made your own machine. Yeah, man, we was making shit out of guitar strings and shit. Yeah, it was, okay. oh, wow. yeah, it was crazy, man. My buddy, hey, museum. Where was this at? It was uh, Tuskegee, man. Tuskegee. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Tuskegee. That's yeah, dope, yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. So, me and my buddy JB is running around just tattooing people, dog, sharpening those things and everything. Yeah. So I ended up getting a scholarship, basketball scholarship. Okay. I ended up going to school. This is a story. This is a crazy story because I was tattooing at the school on a scholarship. <laughs> Didn't know I was, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I didn't supposed to be doing that shit. So the cops was at a game. I remember though, I was standing up there shooting a free throw. And I was like, damn, they about to get somebody. They about to bust somebody for some dope or something. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They came into my room. What? Confiscated all my shit. The so tattoo like, one? Yeah, bro. It was crazy. That's crazy. Did you know who like how they found out? Or Yeah, well, I know how they found out. Damn, damn, it's my snitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got me. Damn, that's, mm-hmm. that's crazy. They got me. So not beef and call it. Uh, yeah, bro. So <laughs> so we went to uh, University of Georgia. I did an outline on my buddy. Mm-hmm. And he was like, damn, that shit look good. I used a real tattoo machine, but I still okay. didn't know what I was doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And he said, uh, bro, uh, you're a good artist, but we're not hiring. I was like, all right, that's cool. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know, that's cool. But he said, Take look, he said, take this book right here. Because usually back in the days, they cut out the, um, where you can buy supplies and stuff from. Mm-hmm. They, cut yeah, them out yeah. the, they cut them out. So he gave me this thing. He was like, order your shit from here. Damn, okay. Like, I said, cool. I forgot the dude's name, man. That's Damn, crazy, I man. I want to give him a shout out, but I forgot his name. Shout out to, if you yeah. happen to be watching this yeah. shit, shout out to like, I, I know that dude right yeah, there on yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was the one. So I was Leave like, it in the comment. So I was like, man, let me just, uh, let me do this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And try to get a job. But man, back then, no black tattoo artists could get in shops. You know what I'm saying? It was Mark, what year? It was like 2000. Shit, 2090. 90. 90, oh, Okay. I want to say like 97. 97? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it wasn't, especially like Alabama. Seven years old. Sure. Was there any black owned shops back then? I was, in, I was in Atlanta then. Oh, you was in Atlanta then? Okay. Yeah. I was, I was here, then I moved back because um, my daughter's about to be born, Alabama. Okay. That's how I got a job. So I went back to Alabama. It's crazy because I tried like eight studios, bro, and it's like, nah, nah, nah. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I worked at like Lowe's or something. Yeah, and the bills pay, man. Yeah. Take care of the family, so. Yeah. yeah, so then my buddy, he was like, <laughs> Andre, my buddy, he, he said, bro, this dude owe me a favor. Mm-hmm. Go down here and tell him that you want a job. Oh, and but where was this at? Auburn. Auburn? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I started in Auburn. This guy. Was you know, he? Was your buddy a tattoo, or he just like? No. He just knew a connection. Yeah, he was a he, he did his he name. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I got yeah, you. He, just, yeah, he, he was the guy. Yeah, I, I, know I know a guy. Yeah, 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 he was the guy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, actually, he was about to get go to 13 years. And um, damn, okay. So he was like, "Let me just do bless it. you real quick." Bless boy. me, man. Bless damn. me. I'll never try him for his tattoos ever. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, you gotta you gotta look out for him. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yep. So in Auburn, <laughs> yeah, I started in Auburn. And Did you do like a traditional apprenticeship, or you already knew a lot, so bro. they like kind of threw you to so the it fire? Was fa- it was fast, but it was yeah. like it was like six, seven, eight months, I think. Okay, you know okay. What I'm but bro, it's shh, bro. I don't know if I can cuss on him, but no, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cuss him. Bro, bro, way, bro. I, I'm talking about, dude. You do some dumb ass shit, like <laughs> dog, like doing like toilets. Cleaning toilets. Oh yeah, you know, washing their yeah. cars and shit like right. that. You know what I'm shit saying? Shit down got nothing to do with tattooing, basically. Man, these cats got it easy, man. We had to sit and make needles all day. You know, what yeah, mean? man. We yeah. had to make your own needle. You know what I'm right. saying? You can't just go buy the needle. Mm-hmm. You had to make them. You know what I'm saying? So right. there was days I just sit and make needles all day long. You know what I'm saying? Over and over, that repetition. Over and over, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had to make our machines. We had to build machines, dog. It was. I mean, do do you feel like? You're happy that you you had that hard way, but you you got to learn a lot of these these tools and um, ways of the trade that are pretty much kind of dead now to to these newer artists, you know. Because I can't uh, say like uh, for you to know all that if something was to happen, you can actually go from scratch. Yeah, I probably could, but fuck that. I right. <laughs> all right, cool. yeah, yeah. Like it. right. <laughs> Get my rotary right. machine. Right. Hey man, my cart is let's ride. Right. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But I am truly blessed that I had that that opportunity to be in that um, that situation mm-hmm. to learn and stuff. Right, right. Because you know mm-hmm. uh, they kind of built who I was. Who right. I was. You built that character, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nah, yeah. I definitely agree. Like friendships solid foundation. Are yeah. A lot different now. Like uh, tattoos. Not every tattooer, but a lot of new tattooers are a, a bit softer now. I would say. And, yeah. What's your perspective yeah. on that? What? Uh, uh, just new tattoos, like yeah. and what they just complain about, like. Like I, I heard, like from uh, Roger Perelli, he, he once said he had to take like two buses and a train. Now you could take Uber. Yeah, I mean, or you knew that homeboy who had a car. I don't never try to hate on nobody. Like, yeah. bro, mm-hmm. it's just like it's just the new shit that's going on right now, and it's me being an old cat, OG in it. We're mm-hmm. just gonna have to die or <laughs> right. get with the program, right? Okay. Yeah. It's just like yeah. music, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just it's you got to about music, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Some people say they don't like. This new type music, you know what I'm saying? I right. mean Everybody got their ear. Right. Yeah. Right. So I'm with whatever, dog. And I am here to help too. Like I, I like to help artists, like young artists. That's dope, because like you don't you don't see a lot of um OG artists who who have that mentality. Is is it really like, nah, fuck you, I had to get it from the mud. Yeah. I'm not I'm not finna help nobody. You know? Yeah, I'm so, different. I'm different. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I man, I try to that's why a lot of artists like they talk to me and um I mean I get a lot of DMs from young artists and I said, whatever you need to know, just ask me. That's dope. I mean, yeah. I ain't going to hold it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, they held it for me. 
Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Bro, it's so yeah, talk talk to us like how how was that experience, man? Like you trying to seek that knowledge and like what like what avenues did you have to go to to to, to gain new knowledge and get better? So it just, it just depends on the shops that you go to, though. You know, mm-hmm. the, the 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 atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. I, at one time, I worked at a a big shop in Atlanta at, at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that was assholes. Nobody wanted to teach me. Nobody. <sighs> yeah. they, they want. I was the only black dude there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So and this was after Arbor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it was like. So a lot of the shops you were at, were you like the only black dude? My black person at the shop? No, nah, I, I worked at shops that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? I worked at all black shop before. You know okay. I mean? It was cooler. You know what I'm saying? It I was, got you. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like my work, the owner that there, he kept the prices super low. Like, mm, okay. super cheap. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And I felt like, like. underpricing. Yeah, yeah. And I felt like I'm working more than what you yeah. should. Yeah. yeah. And then, shoot, I'm barely making it. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to know like, your work. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. I'm pretty sure the type of work you was doing, you weren't. Were you happy with 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 um, the type of clientele that was, uh, as far as subject matter for this shop? Since you was charging a lot cheaper, because you know, no, nah, I wouldn't have it at all. Yeah, <laughs> no, <Hell> nah. <laughs> nah. But that, you know what? That's it's so dope though. I, it's so dope because that I learned how to do mm. like lettering. Okay, from that, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, you said, I'm leaving here with something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying. So I took that to. You know, everywhere I go, I try to take them. Take some, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I learned how to freehand lettering. That shit was yeah. hard as first. No, nah, bro. That's, that's a skill a lot of artists don't. Yeah. I mean, shit, so I, I can't freehand. With this right, right. Shit, it's like, easy. I, I know, like, all the foundations and stuff, but honestly, I just don't like how mine turned out. I just don't like the look of it. Especially when you work next to... All right, we work next. Either. We work next to Christian. Yeah. I might like yeah. it. You know what I'm yeah. <laughs> but see, we work next to Christian. He he's like a lettering specialist. So yeah, it's like we still oh, trying yeah, to get yeah, one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Man, I can't be behind you already. Right, I'm right next yeah. to <laughs> Christian, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I feel you. yeah. So, but um, no, that's actually at least a good question. So like, were were you really versatile at first? Did you try to do everything that walked through the door, or were you focused on like certain styles? So when I first started out, I was like. I want to say old school, like, you know what I'm saying, traditional. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Did a lot of flash I, shit. Yeah, flash. Okay. All day long, flash. Three years, mm-hmm. flash. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I paint, I draw realistic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, you got some badass art too, man. Yeah, appreciate so, it. Yeah. So, well, like, did you, did you, were you always in art before tattooing or did it, like, come when you started tattooing? I think it's a guy's gift, man. My mom told me I uh, used to draw at the age of, like, four, five. Yeah, man, that's what I. That's awesome. Draw. Yeah, yeah, and she was saying I was drawing amazing stuff. You know what I'm saying? And Damn. at that time, you know, being at that time, you don't know. You just think, right, right. Saying, yeah, you shit, shit dope. Until I got to like high school, and then you started really seeing like, oh, it was like, taking me out of class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, okay, taking me out of class, design some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Design. That's dope. And I was always the weird kid, like painting on my clothes and shit. Right, right. Just, man. I use artist, man. It was like yeah. it was in your blood. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's dope. So when um. I guess when in your career did you feel like you wanted to shift and kind of like focus on just certain styles? Mm, I say about it took it took a while. It took about ten years, you know, okay. to focus on. So what you want to focus on, you know, you I'm use some, focus on mastering the fundamentals first. Yeah, you say okay. I, then I realism. Um, I remember taking a, a seminar back in the days. You know, do you remember who the artist was? Dang. Shane. Like a big name artist or yeah, arch? Yeah, yeah, he was big. Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took his team down in, uh, in Florida and he came to me and said, Bro, I mean, we didn't have Instagram. Right, we right. Just had a portfolio and, you know, mm-hmm. like a little book with, you know what I'm saying? Emanated. Yeah, mm-hmm. he seen my stuff and he was like, Yo, you got some good work. Man, I, I must have like, felt great. Yeah. I was like, Damn, for real? You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> and then he told Better me, not be lying. Yeah, yeah. He was like, this is what you need to focus on. This is what you need not to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was putting lines where it shouldn't be lines. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I was Taking away from that that realistic look, that soft look. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I was just putting like lines in, man. And then I said, let me just focus on portraits. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know mm-hmm. um, so I focused on portraits. So I started doing portraits. And then... How did you start off with the portraits? You already had a solid clientele base, so you did yeah, friends yeah, first. Yeah, or? I, I had a, it was pretty decent. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you you would say you were already like a successful tattooer at that point, or I ain't gonna say successful, but what? shit, I was just getting you know. Right, you paid the bills. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I was doing it. You know, what okay. I'm saying? I was yeah. trying to 
man, I had a kid, bro. I was out there making money, man. Right. I was out Hustling, there. Like, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I would say, did you feel like when you started focusing on realism, is that when you feel like your career went to another level? Or did it take some time? It took a lot of time. I'm still okay. learning. That's okay, yeah, that's, that's the great thing. I'm still learning. You got to have that mindset, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you never, never get complacent. Yeah. Ask my friends. They, I'll be like, man, I just bought the seminar. You know what I'm saying? I right. probably... Are you always willing to learn. That's yeah, pretty much it. Spend right. thousands. And How many thousands. seminars you think you you've taken in your career so far? Ooh. Mm, shit, I, I'll give you a better one. How many do you think you take per year? It'd probably be a little easier. Go, you talking about seminar. going to them yeah. or buying yeah. them or uh, either or? Yeah, buying or going seminar. to them. Yeah. Shit. At least ten to fifteen, you sure. know. What I'm saying? Like I buy I need a lot. To go hard. Like, that's yeah. right. So that's yeah, so got, you feel I like that's you. a key to key to the the learning, staying staying progressing. It's like these seminars because we talked about yeah. that earlier in another yeah. episode. But yeah. I feel like a lot a lot of artists still kind of sleep on them. Yeah, man. If you can gain any kind of knowledge, I mean, sometimes I go to seminars, I probably know everything that's in there, ninety eight percent in there, but it's something that I'm missing. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same and same I probably thing. pick that up. You know, right. what I'm saying that's why it's that one little tip, that yeah, one little trick. Yeah, that's why. What's his name doing it? Um, Kevin. Kevin Leroy. Leroy. Yeah, yeah, man. This, that's going to be great. I wish I can go. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, yeah, they got, what, four spots left? Yeah. Yeah. I can't afford I it right now, you man. know. It's, it's right. tax season. I'm trying right. to dust, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if it was later in the year, man, I, yeah. I definitely, yeah, I think the second half of the year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely try to hit a seminar myself. Yeah, this, I, just, this time. I, just, I just did one myself. Yeah, you, you taught one, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how did that go, bro? It was great, bro. I love teaching. Was that, was that your first, like, taught seminar, or you did more before? I did one one time. I was drunk. That was intense. <laughs> how did that go, bro? Hold on. Terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how many? How many days? Or was it a like multiple day event? Nah, this was just a full day. It was, this was our first time doing it because we always yeah. go to uh, seminars. Me and my buddy, we always like. So like you did color, he did black and gray. Yeah, yeah. Did y'all like tattoo there or was like PowerPoint? Yeah. So, okay. Tattoo, yeah, we oh, did. Damn, that's we, 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 uh, we presented, mm-hmm. and then we tattooed. Damn man, dope, yeah. bro. it dope. was like really, really dope. You know, we had people drive from Florida and stuff. You know, that's, that's, that's dope to hear, bro. Like, yeah, I got some some a wealth of knowledge, so I know they left. What's the biggest class you'll you'll have if you do a seminar? Shit, I want I want in the hundreds. You want in the hundreds? Yeah, I want yeah, to yeah. teach, bro. Like, okay. I want. I do you, want do you feel like that could be something later on in your career? Like, you kind of shift from like tattooing full time to more like on the teaching side or something like that? I would want to, but I don't think. Man, I love tattooing though. Like yeah, okay, I that's absolutely up. love tattooing. Like the older I get, the more you know what I'm saying, I just love to keep up for real, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I'm competitive, you know what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm very competitive. Yeah, I know. You like to compete in contests yeah. a lot too, man. And um yeah, I see you doing some killer pieces and win some awards at these yeah. conventions, bro. Yeah. I still remember that Prince portrait you did. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I shit. forgot about that. Yeah, that was yeah. nice. That was, was nice. Color portrait, yeah. Yep, I yep. Won best color portrait for that. Yeah, yeah bro. I forgot about that. Nah, bro, that's I still remember that one. That shit was nice, man. Yeah. But um but yeah, so like you started doing the porches. You, did you start out with black and gray? Or black you, and gray. Okay, yeah. yeah you yeah. feel like that's a little bit easier to start off with? You, I feel like a lot of artists feel like color is a little bit more intimidating than Shit. black and gray. I think it's all the same. I think it's all about values. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, turn, that's a good way to put you turn it. Your, um, your color into a black and gray. You know what I'm saying? Right. Once you learn values and where they go mm-hmm. and shapes and everything, bro, this shit can be easy as fuck. So do you, Even drawing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people say, I can't draw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can. Just you got practice, right? Repetition. No, you just look at shapes. And I you, mean, yeah. When people see shapes more than they can see, you know what I'm saying? Right. So when you make your stencils, you break them down into values and shapes. At first. Right. At Even first. when I'm tattooing, sometimes right. I put my oh boy, I'm about to give out so many tips today. <laughs> 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 Even though when I'm tattooing, excuse me, uh when I'm tattooing, I um use the glog is it gaugium? Gaugium blur, yeah. On it yeah. When I first start out. Mm-hmm. So I can see every shape on it. I put it on three mm. to four. I see okay. every shape. Then another thing that you can do is like <clears throat> I put my iPad like back farther. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're not trying to yeah. get every we yeah. get lost in detail a lot. Right. And I do right. it too. I mm-hmm. I'm a psh, bro, I will try to detail the hell out of somebody's face. You know what I'm saying? Right, mm-hmm. right. But detail always come last. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh-huh. Always. Not first, last. You know what I'm saying? So once you put the it's like building a house. Yeah, it's basically you you're building up those those yeah. blocks, those uh, maybe you, you can like color blocking in, then you kind of yeah. going in, sharpening at the end. Yeah, you just start off with mags, okay. round shaders, then liners. Yeah, Damn. yeah, no, that's, that's a, a simple that way. Yeah, yeah make, make, when you make yeah, it that yeah, simple, yeah, sound, yeah, it's that easy, you know, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. So, do you feel like you have like a 
a lot of art education? Like, you did you read like a lot of art books or took art classes or anything like that? Or I read shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man said I buy. I was gonna I say read. with that question. How did you, I was how like, did you learn about buy. art? Then? Like, how did you learn about values and and seeing contrast and stuff like that? So to me, I think it was like. I think I was, like, gifted to see stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, okay. I don't think I was, like, taught that until, like, man, the last five years have been the best years of my life because I've been learning about these things now. Because right. YouTube, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. I get on YouTube, bro. I, I learn so much. Man, my YouTube. girl go to sleep, bro. I'm on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm learning about value. YouTube is the most underrated, like, it's, that's, it's such a wealth of knowledge on YouTube, and it's all free. Yeah. So it's like. You just got to find it. I right. got a degree yeah. from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah. believe YouTube, 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 yeah, YouTube University. University. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, been in the five years now, strong. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's a good way to put it. Cause like, I think sometimes like people get so caught up in like, oh, you know, I gotta go to art school or I gotta go um, learn from these, you know, this trained artist, this and that. And, like a lot of times it's like art doesn't necessarily. You don't necessarily like. Yes, school helps, but. It's not necessary. Like I, none of us took art classes or or went to art school, right? Yeah. Um, I do read like some books, art reference books and stuff, but um, a lot of it is just like, just doing it and just seeing. Like you just see, like I can't explain it. Why? I just like like y'all say the same thing, right? It's like I can't explain exactly the science behind it, but I just know like these two colors blend well, and by contrasted with this, it's yeah. gonna look nice and uh, shit. It just works, you know. Yeah. So. Uh huh. Back to books, I got a lot of books though. Okay. I purchase a lot of books. You just don't read them. No, you know what you do. What do you, what do, you do? So I highlight the shit, right? Mm, okay. And then you can hit speak and that bitch read. So you get audio books. No, you can do it on you your know. phone, your iPhone. You know you can do that, right? Oh you yeah. Highlight it and then that thing yeah. come up, copy something, something, something. Then that shit says speak. Yeah. You wait, get, so you get an actual real book. Yeah. Or you get and you use your phone. Yeah, you yeah. take what? a picture of it. Yeah. I never knew this shit. Hold on. Yeah, I know. Oh, you can <laughs> look, watch yeah. this shit. You didn't know that? Like I can uh yeah. like take a picture of your shirt, yeah, highlight it on the camera. What? And then it'll just translate it for me. Let's just go to a website. Damn. I never knew that. Yeah. See, hey, that's a gem right there. Oh, you didn't know you could, I could take a photo of a paragraph and just mm. copy and paste and just now, put that's it with in. the newer iPhone. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, damn. All right. A bit. So, Dang. Yeah. They over here. Yeah. Like, ah, I've been living in the past. Right. See? Right. Yeah, yeah, I got right there, bro. Yeah. 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 Sheesh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jam right now. So, um, I ain't reading nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the audio book. Hey, what's this wall for real? words say? Hold on. Yo. So, this weekend, we was up in the mountains, and my girl, she put it on this. Um, I don't read audio books and stuff like that, but mm-hmm. she put it on this audio book and changed my life. Like, not changed my life, but I'm like, damn. Nah, bro. I'm like, hi. Yeah. I need this. You yeah. Know what I'm like, I used to just, you know, when I'm coming to the shop, go back, just get a little 20, 30 minutes in. Like, because a lot of times, like you said, you go home, you're going to be tired, too tired to read, but yeah. shit, if I'm just in the car, say, listen to music, just throw an audio book yeah. or something. I live by the audio books at this point. Like, really? I'm not, re- I'm not reading it. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on them. I'm on them now. Right. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of it just coming from doing it, seeing it, and just, it's already in your brain. So, um, I guess so. What what kind of advice or knowledge would you give like a newer tattooer who was like, all right, I want to be like you. I want to do th- these realism tattoos like you and stuff. Like, what what's the best way to start? You would say, don't be, be don't be like me. Be be better than me. You feel me? Just okay, be, yeah. be. You know, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a right. help version you. of you. Yeah, yeah I'm a help That's you. It. But just be just man. There's these there's artists that I help like mm-hmm. daily, and they just blowing me out the water now. I'm like, damn, this dope as fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I love it. You know what I'm and saying? that's that's great that you got that mindset because there's a lot of people who who don't want to see that they don't want to help somebody see them g- progress to be better than them. But and it's like, yeah, I mean, wait, wait, what, what, yeah, yeah. Back to your back to your question though, like definitely study some art though. Okay, that, that foundation man of art. It it since I've been studying art the last well listening to art mm-hmm. the last like five years that helps. Me Is there like so any much. particular artist that really like inspired you or like you tattoo you, artists? I mean, or just even like non tattoo artists, like you just really love, you know, like Dolly or somebody like that. I don't fuck. I mean, I ain't gonna say that. I don't. But I mean, if it is tattoo artists, let's say tattoo artists. Classical artist. paintings and stuff yeah. like that. I wanna do them, but I don't study them. I don't mm-hmm. like go back because I don't know their fucking names. Right, right. <laughs> you know? I don't know them like that. You yeah, know yeah. So my inspiration come out of real life. Like, okay. Real, just real shit, you know what I'm saying? It so it's. 
They may come from a person in a grocery store, bro. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I went me? to the health department. I saw this statue. I took a picture of it. Yeah. 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 No, that's true. I mean, yeah, I just, my inspiration are people that live in, not people dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I, can't, really, yeah. I can't really get information out of a person that I can't speak to. Mm-hmm. I got you. So like you, need, you need that right. that human connection to actually, yeah. like, yeah, like I, I want to speak to you and, and pick your brain. Mm-hmm. And I, cause I ask a thousand questions. You know what I'm saying? Right, as like you should. When we go to, when we go to seminars and stuff, bro, I ask. Okay. Yeah. Give like. So how how do you approach seminars? Cause I feel like a lot of times, I'll go like me and Bryson and Ted. We all kind of say the same. Like we'll go to seminars, right? And then people just kind of like don't say anything. Like I'm not saying they're not taking nothing in, but they just kind of like maybe afraid or just they just want to sit in the back yeah. and just observe and not really get the most out of it. I think that become um, that happened to me. I, when my first couple of seminars I went to, I didn't ask a question. I didn't ask nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the best thing to do to ask a question. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ask whatever you want. Ain't no ask, stupid you know question. Yeah, yeah. So, because when I teach my seminars, I like people to ask me why, what I'm doing. Exactly. There was yeah. One question this girl asked me. She says, "So, what voltage is your machine? What do you use your machine?" I said, "Doesn't matter." Right. Because you need to know all the other factors, yeah. right? Voltage doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Really, it don't. So why, why do you Everybody why got like right. different hand speeds yeah, and stuff? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Different hand speeds, different. And I tattoo. Yeah, I was gonna ask you how do you like slow to do slow. Okay, you so you yeah. slow. You like to layer. I layer everything, even color. I layer okay. everything, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking for that paintery look. I'm so are you like uh, using like a more like a brush, like pendulum kind of motion? Yeah. or I do pendulum. I do, I'm black and gray. I do a lot of backstroking. Backstroke, okay. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. cross hatch, god damn, bro. That's something I'm trying to incorporate more now into my bro. black and gray. Man, you cross hatch, bro, that shit be buttery smooth. Mm-hmm. You know damn, so are you backstroke, like, are you um, cross hatching with like a backstroke technique? Or are you like, are you like brushing out first and then coming back? Brushing out that way. X motion. I do all of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look. Like I, I, I try to. So I try. It just depends on what if I'm tattooing the face. Mm-hmm. Mostly I'm gonna use like a backstroke motion in that. You know what I'm saying? Because I want everything soft, mm-hmm. everything just super soft until where I want your eye to go to, like the focus, mm-hmm. like on the eyes and nose and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you throw like a little liner action in or three yeah, liners. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a little round shader in there. Okay. You, know you prefer round shit. shaders to three line or to three liners? You would say. Mm. Depending on what you're doing. Sometimes I pick up a needle. I don't even know what the fuck I got. <laughs> and I just you use it. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. But you, if you don't have rhyme shaders, all you got to do is just take a lighter to a, 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 a three, you know, take yeah, a lighter spread to it a bit. open it up. You know right. what I'm saying? That's some old school joint. Right. Man. You don't need to buy them. You know what I'm saying? What okay. I'm learning how to do now is like, dude, I'll be taking out eight, nine, ten needles at, you know what I'm saying, on mm-hmm. one tattoo. Now I'm trying to like drop down to like three to five needles. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I don't need that many needles. Nah, I understand. Yeah, these needles get expensive. Once you, it's better than what brand you using, you know. So, Quadrum. yeah, same. We quadrant people, so quadrant gonna tear your ass. Up, exactly, bro, you man. Especially in the big mags, yeah. man. Oh yeah. So, yeah, same. I, I, I pretty much condense mine to like yeah, four needles. Like Fifty bucks for the yeah, bro. What are y- y'all buy like Bryson? You probably use the most needles I would say out of us. <clears throat> how many? How many you, you bust out for a portrait tattoo? A portrait? Yeah. You know, I'm a little selfish. I, Probably three. What? Three? Three. I need to drop 15. <laughs> 15 is my favorite. I see. Yeah. 15, 15 is my favorite. Uh, uh, it depends on how I'm feeling, how big the portrait is. It'll be a seven mag or a nine mag. Yeah. What's, what's, it, what's the smallest mag you use? Nine. Say, okay, Some them sevens. Bro. You gonna you gonna need one while you saying fuck them seven. You know why I don't use? You I, I, might want to be quiet. The, the five mags though. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I ain't yeah, about yeah, no. Yeah, you yeah, might want yeah. to use round shape. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was about to say. I only use seven mags because I got a box of them. I don't use them because uh. Now, in case you might get like the little the round shaders. Though. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I use like a seven round shader or something. So how, how do you? All right, that's a good question because a lot of people round shaders are, are like very controversial, right? To artists because like some people believe like it could overwork the skin real easy. Which you can. Which you can, right? And then some artists like swear by them. Like all I do is round shader. So like, how, how do you work your round shader to to make sure that skin isn't getting overworked? So, I use my round shaders. I turn my machines down. Yeah. Then okay. So yeah. down to turn what you down. would use a mag for? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I turn it down lower than a mag. Yeah. What I'm okay. Yeah. Mag. Oh, uh-huh. And also I use it at almost like a ninety degree angle, like. So more straight up. Yeah. Okay. So That's all different. the needle can hit at evenly at the same time on the skin. You know what I'm saying? Mm, if you okay. use it at an angle, you're using those back 
Right. And you have those little. That's only if you want to use texture. If I use okay, it. Okay. Okay. It's more for texture. Okay. Yeah. But if I'm using it and I'm trying to like get some smooth stuff with it, as you said, pretty much details last if it's the texture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know so when you're using your round shaders, um, <clears throat> like I say, for instance, like you using it uh, for your eyes or whatever, sure. are you like wor- uh, brushing it in, or are you like kind of just like packing it in? Because I know when I use mine, I like to like brush it in because I yeah. feel like it does less trauma to the right. skin. I brush it, and I use a yeah. shitload of um, uh, Glide. Also. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Would you an Easy Glide guy? Or Easy Glide? What's that? That's a brand. Nah. That purple, you know that purple or green? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, or I use I, a Hustle Butter? No, no, no. I use, uh, well, I'm, I use a Hustle Butter right now. I was sponsored by uh, okay. Okay. by another Glide. I still love that Glide. So I just use A&D on it, man. I ain't, I'm cheap, man. With yeah, that. That's, that's, that's cool. I mean, that's what we used to use back in the days. You know what I'm saying? The A&D oh, man. Man. Yeah. gets the job done, that's, man. But you, you look at the great artists and stuff. I go, I go sit around like a lot of great artists. They don't use the shit that we, you know, you think they're using. You know what I'm saying? These dudes like... You be minimum, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. artists right now yeah. just only use water. We just found that out last week. Well, I, yeah. I use water. Yeah, just water. No witch hazel. Even for color, water. you just just water? No, I use no soap until the end. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm a water and witch hazel guy, so you don't like putting a witch, witch hazel in it? You think it irritates the skin to. a little bit? No, uh, yeah, a little bit. Because okay. sometimes, it, depending on that witch hazel you get, because some witch hazel have alcohol. It like does. That. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it, the one I we use, that's why I kept saying, "Hey, are y'all smell like alcohol." Yeah, like, you know? yeah. I, I noticed like the cheaper brand ones do have a little bit of alcohol. Yeah, if you, all. yeah, if you ever sit and watch me do like a portrait or something like that, you'll see no redness at all. I use a lot of water too, like when I'm dipping. Like mm-hmm. I'll dip my, I'll dip into like my first when I'm opening up skin with color. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I call it opening up skin, but I always just like dipping in water, like kind of water that the ink down a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then just kind of yeah, fan it over real Roger real fast. was um, you know Roger Perilla, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we took a yeah. seminar. Me and Bryson, well, Chess too. Um, we uh, and he did he, like he uh, well, what, what you blinking for? Man, my whole <laughs> time lasted in my brain. Tails was there too. Wait, what? I mean, he no. I'm saying like Tails, <laughs> me and Tails went to watch. And you know, I just hey, said, hey, hey, he was sitting on camera too. I was over here. On a separate occasion, so I'm trying to get him credit. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was like, <laughs> I'm just look. I'm trying to look. One, but okay. I'm trying to look out. Look. All right, I'm just trying to look out. You know, what I'm hey, but, I clearly I, mean, I have been to one. Right, it wasn't yeah. an official seminar, right? Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Anyways, but he told us like, yeah, he, that was something new to me. Is like dipping colors into water real quick, yeah. just to kind of like loosen. You know what I'm saying? Get, open open up, I do right? that. Um, I got the little uh, water uh, dropper. I'm gonna call it that. And I do that on top of my inks, and it like, it, for me, it helps the ink go into the skin a little bit yeah. easier. Okay, consistent. Like yeah, so yeah. so you do it every so every time. Every time I do, I yeah, do I dip my uh, inks in the water now. Color, okay. yeah, all right. And yeah, I, you I'm know, I, I'm I, yeah, because I layer so much. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Right. I'm layer now. If I'm doing like an old school, like traditional. Uh, Neo traditional stuff back like that. I'm yeah. just going. I'm gonna go. I was gonna ask you, do that thing in there. So, do you with your layering? Do you do any tight circles at all, or is it all just like brush? Mine is it's it's a variety of you know what I'm saying. I, I'm shit. I do it like black and gray. You know what I'm okay. saying. Okay, so like, just build yeah, it up I, like slow. I still use the pen. Yeah, brush I stopped doing know. circles uh, like a year ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, even when, even when you know an like, area is like solid black, you ain't or so, this solid color. Oh, if it's solid, I'm going in that thing and like I don't even I don't do circles no more. I, no, I, don't I, I like I like do this this motion like this. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah. Yep. The shovel motion mm-hmm. is so, yeah, shove, yeah. so much darker. Now, it's kinda like how you said when he pushed back, it, it's already going a smooth transition yeah. anyway. Mm-hmm. So oh. one thing, David Vega, I took his seminar. Oh man, yeah, ago. tell us about that. That's my dog. I love that. That's dope. That's my that's that's on a bucket up to list for me. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I look up to him, man. He's a cool guy, but the way he told me to put black sand is the way that you just cross hatch it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And then, because on the edge of that cross hatch, it's going to be like some fuzziness that you mm-hmm. want to see. Then you can go in with your next tone and it all blends together just like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. okay. like in portraits and stuff, I start doing, even, even in my grays, mm-hmm. I saturate those grays like so much. I'm trying not to see those little open holes in the screen. Right, exactly. You know yeah. Do and I hate yeah. I hate uh needle marks. Right, right. Sometimes I don't even post because I got a needle mark. <laughs> Tattoo can be so dope and I see a needle mark. Yeah. That's one of those either you like it or you don't. I found that that's like fifty fifty with certain artists. Right, that's that's get out of my tattoo. head though. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta Same. get out of and my head. If you wait yeah. two months, yep. it close up. Yeah. You don't even yeah. see it no more. Yeah, it's nah. it's eventually close. Yeah. But 
I was I like, I guess I'd be too. trying to get that instant gratification on, nah. on, on Instagram. But you know you'd be surprised, like people, like well, like you said, we we're so harsh on ourselves Bro. that people aren't even. Look, they're looking at the piece as a whole, and like, oh, that's right. dope. They're not gonna notice the little flaws that you know me and you might notice. Like, cause saying like, I just recently posted a tattoo that, like, I felt like the bottom half was really smooth, then the top half, like you said, I saw a lot more needle marks than I wanted, and um, and at first I was like, damn, but then you know what? I was like, fuck it. I'm just let me just. Look at his whole looks cool. I'm gonna post it. Fuck it, and then for people was fucking with it, you know. And I was like, all right. So what post yeah. I said? I was like, down here I like it. Up here, I was yeah. Like, ah. it depends on what piece I'm doing, because sometimes I like the needle marks because it gives like yeah, more of, that, like uh, artist yeah kind of feels, and sometimes I just want that shit like to like it. fucking be smooth and right. shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Depending that, on what that, it yeah. is. Yeah, black, <laughs> so, black and gray. That don't just it get on my nerves. Sometimes. Yeah, it's it's so like once it's so finicky because like you got like one little like. You make one little hard pass or something, and it's, it's like, it's damn, open. it's like, yeah. yeah I was gonna open. ask you, so like, let's say you're doing like a a dark dark tone, not not black, but let's say like your dark wash, right? Do you, since you like to layer it, are you dipping into like your light medium first, building it up, or are you just going straight to dark? That's a good question. Um, so like, I always go a tone lighter first. Mm, okay. And then like if. So what? What is like a safety? Kind I use of thing? Empire. So I use Empire inks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Set, yeah, right? yeah. So there's dark, medium, light, extra light. Shout out to Coat. Mm-hmm. I know Coat. He man. Yeah, Empire. They got some good inks. Great. Sure. He's a great dude too. He's so knowledgeable, man. We talk about. We when we get together, we just talk about. Yeah. <laughs> man, he tells me about molecules and stuff. Oh, so he's really beyond the oh, science yeah, of that shit. Dead, okay. Right? And I'm like, yeah. dude, I don't know what you're talking. Right. About. right. I just but I just put it in skin, yeah, big dog. <laughs> but. Uh, so I say if it's my dark area, I go medium first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then I go back up with dark. So do you feel like it, it gives you like a smoother transition like that? Super smooth. I try to use my mediums. I used to use a lot of medium when um the medium tone early on in my career. Mm-hmm. But all my tattoos is washed out. Yep. No, that was so, that's something I've I'm transitioning in the past three ish years. I say like yeah. Like I said, once you've been tattooing so long, you get to see some of these pieces like five years hill, yeah. and it's like, nah, that shit's flat as hell now. Like, nah, nah, I need to go darker. Like, so. So yeah, I separate my dark side, my light side. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I also like go back over to fill those dots in, especially on my light side with the extra light. Sometimes I use mm-hmm. I, I dip it in water sometimes to. Uh, Fill in those little, you see those little dots in your lights, and mm-hmm. especially your lights and stuff. And right. then your darks too, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even on, sometimes on my darks, I'm, I'm probably just going on in circles. No, no, but, man, um, good knowledge, bro. Even on my dark side, sometimes I go back in with a line in black. Not a triple black, but I go mm-hmm. in with a line in black. Just so one layer over that line in black just mm-hmm. to get a little hair bit darker. Mm, you know okay, okay. So it's real light, just kind of like. Yeah. Some, okay. some, some ink companies, man, they, they make these line of inks. They're not black. Yeah, they're like yeah. a dark, dark mid tone. So do you do you use dynamic for blacks at all, or mm, just no. all Empire? No, I use Empire. Then I use a P- Panthera or something like that. Okay, like, I've heard of it. Yeah, Triple X. Mm-hmm. Dude, black it's is dark black. as hell. Yeah, it's dark and it's not messy. You know? Yeah, I was gonna ask you because yeah. there's there's some that are really dark, but it's so messy. It's like I don't even want to work with it. Yeah, I like I do like uh, dynamic when I'm making my own. Right, right. You know what I'm saying when I'm making my own uh, washes. You just feel like Empire is just more consistent for you? Yeah, I've been using it for a long time, about 10 years now. Okay. And, okay. I just, and I've just been, every time I go to something else, different. I like Raw, too. I raw. like Raw. Um, I haven't tried them. Man, okay. they're, they're pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, for colors, you like we all different brands, I'm assuming? So my favorite, my, my brand I use for color ink is uh, Radiant. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I love that. I love. Why? That. Why do you love Radiant more than others? To me, I feel like Radiant goes in everybody's skin tone. Mm, okay. Like, Only got a couple of colors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause mm. sometimes I use like Eternal. Sometimes. Yeah. Eternal, pretty decent. Yeah. And I use Eternal. Fusion. I like Eternal. Yeah. At this point. Eternal is like certain colors I like from Eternal. Yeah. Right. Cause um. Right. Their healing is kind of iffy, especially like once you get on like more melanated skin, yeah. it can be iffy. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm more of like a, I'll say fusion and I've been using fusion. a lot of solid lately. Fusion is yeah. great for yeah. If I yeah, yeah yeah if I can get that, get that 
goddamn truck be coming over with goddamn fusion. Yeah, I'll yeah. be like, yo, this will be none of a fusion up here. Yeah, what we got come out here. Union? Um, union. Well, we get Union and Vulcan. We get America. You know, Vulcan got a little. Big they, America. They're right down the street. street. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why they, they, they we, they last out every night. It's like, fuck it, we about to I go like that gray set. Yeah. That's that's solid ink, I do like that gray Yeah, that's why I started messing with solid Ooh, because Vulcan. Solid ink. Yeah. Because Vulcan carries solid. I like the gray yeah. Set, yeah. Yeah, the grays are better than like fusion and internals. Um, yeah. If you're looking for like a gray set. Because, um, yeah. yeah. And, the, and I like how it heals better too. Like, because, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, um, certain brands, they kind of, when they when they yeah, heal the grays, yeah, they have like that. I don't know. It's kind of like they that. They end up looking black and gray. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it don't even fusion look black anymore. Yeah. So, oh, man. What do you mean it don't listen? What do you mean? Like it don't, it like looking black and gray. Like, so like you'll put it in, and it's like the the colors like looks great. But after, especially on melanated skin, like I got some um, uh, actually on my arm, it looks like a black and gray tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it was an opaque gray color. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. It doesn't keep that like the actual grayness yeah. of it. When I use solid ink, even on my heel work, it looked great. Like yeah. color gray. Yeah, definitely try. Like I would say try a couple. Mm. I, would, I, yeah. I use I use I make my own opaques. Yeah, you, uh, you mix your black with white. Yeah, I do okay. that sometimes. I, I learn. Use that. Empire Black or who do you, yeah, P- Pantera? I use so oh man, I got so many damn techniques and different. All right, I, I so see, man. If, I, if I'm using like, if I want to get that that white wash look into mm-hmm. my tattoo, sometimes if I don't have the white wash there, I put out my whole set of ink and then me a big cap of white at the end. And mm-hmm. Every set that I'm. Um, and this is how I'll do kinda, it. Yeah. I'll dip in the um I'll dip in the white. I mean I dip in so say I'm using light, I'll dip into my light, then white, and then water. You know Honestly, I've I've been doing it. I'm glad to hear somebody else does it and now I'm just not crazy. Because I'll be doing that sometimes, bro. But I was like, I don't know if this is like no, the right way to make a white wash, but like and then I also put drop like one drop of white into my gray wash too. Yeah. I feel like once you go past too many drops though, it starts to turn opaque in a way. What brand gray. do you use? Yeah. Um a white or a which one? The white. Um, lately I've been using solid. I've tried all different. Like I've tried Eternal White, yeah. Fusion, World yeah, yeah, World Famous. Yeah, yeah, World Famous. Like different whites definitely give it a different effect. I would yeah, say. Right. And um, I use Dynamic Black. So, um, for me, I get the it, it stays the out because I want it to look true to black and gray, but just have a, a slightly more white washy kind of look mm-hmm. to it. Right, right. So um, I feel like that Dynamic and Dynamic Black with a, a drop of solid white kind of works the best for me. So do you do that on uh, melanated skin? I do on melanated yeah. skin too, and um, yeah, it, it all heals. Like to be honest, like it all heals the same. Like I don't, I don't think it, it really when it heals, like it's gonna be a huge difference. It right. gives um, it more of a uh, smoother look. For my, yeah, just a slight. I don't, I don't drop the white in my ink, but I have like two cups of white, and you just kind of dip into it. Like, dip in. You say, do you use one or do you use multiple cups of white? Shit, about three. Okay. Okay. You know, I thought, it's, it's one gonna get dirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Then I got one just for pure highlights. I don't go right, crazy right. with my white still. Like mm-hmm. I see people oh, yeah, are, yeah. like, man, dude. I'm like, don't use the fucking white. Don't do that white right there. Yeah. Right. I get so mad. why? So why do you don't go crazy? Mm-hmm. Cause healing like long term process. It's just for highlights. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. it's not made to like lighten it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that, that's what I talked about in my in my seminar too. Like I usually back in the days I go from dark red to red into white. I don't mm-hmm. do that anymore. I mm-hmm. go from Dark red to red to a flesh tone. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. it still give it that white kind of like uh, what, desaturate a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. Like white and gray. Yeah. And then when I put that um, that flesh tone in with that light red. Yeah. Man, <clears throat> fucking bright. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. I definitely get like. And I use a lot of water at the end to blend it out into the skin. So it won't be uh, hard. Smart. Like, yeah, smart. I don't like that hard, like harsh you know, edge. Yeah, yeah. I like to blend it out into the skin. You know what I'm saying? So you use just water, like, well, I'll take on my last, like at that red. When you're using the flesh tone, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll take it and dip it in water. So do you believe in having like open skin still and color realism? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was going. You yeah. feel like I it better to, longevity? Shit, I try to saturate everything though, like. But um, you'll saturate with like some. It's like washed out in, in, towards yeah. that end, so it, yeah. it kind of it blends smooth. I'm terrible at leaving open skin. God damn, I try <laughs> even in black and gray. I'm trying to fill that fucker up. Okay, you you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, nah, I'm, it's to me. I I feel like so it's two sides of the coin. Like, cause on one end, like yes, you do get like a more realistic look if when you have more coverage, right? right. And um, and depending on you know your client's skin tone, like it it may be viable not for long term, but like. It, it the other end like I do like I personally like the look of like a lot of open skin. It just gives it like that more stylized, like high contrast look to it. Mm-hmm. Um I think I got well, a problem. What's that? 
I just like to saturate. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. So I've heard an artist say this. I don't want to angle drop the name, but he, he said uh, when he tattoos full coverage, he feels like the skin tone will never change due to like no matter what weather element. Like, do you think tans? that way? Yeah. So basically, you're saying like, like if if that person were to get tan, yeah, like the color stay the same. Yeah, their skin tone nah, wouldn't. He, he bullshit. Yeah, that's why I say I ain't name dropping. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I like, I think people get a little too in the science part and yeah, like, come just up with some white people, right? Like, yep. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yes. That's a that sometimes you can't hate on it though. I mean, right, right. Nah, it was like uh, it's. I got I got more white clients than ever. You know what I'm saying? I tattoo a lot of everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Uh, but I mean, I think it's a it's yeah, great when when you know how to everything. tattoo melanated skin too, and like yeah. and then you tattoo everybody. It's you like tattoo. yeah, to me, yeah. it's it's There's a no little difference, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, people. Now nah, I can say this about doing uh, uh, melanated skin, blacker people. You know, dark like us. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, our skin. Um, slow down your machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of it. we was taught to like turn those fucking machines up. We got yeah, smooth skin. I was skin. Skin. I was Sensitive, skin is, yeah. bro, it's very smooth. Soft, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you going in with a 10.5, 11 volt machine, bro. Right, you just want to chew it up. Yeah. Not built for it, man. Yeah. And that's yeah. when people like they make it skew. They be like, "Oh, my tattoo didn't heal up, or this didn't heal up right because you ran that machine too high." And that's my like. I'm huge on like taking accountability for heels too. Like, like I get it. Like some like sometimes clients are just gonna do some stupid shit and mm, fuck yeah. your tattoo up. Yeah. But you you should know like when it's like a client fuck up and like nah I chewed that skin up I overworked yeah. that skin yeah. like yeah. and for me that I feel like the the good artists or artists who become good is, they're the ones who can realize like all right I'm overworking this shit like let me change the shit let me slow down let me yeah. bring my needle back let me change my hand speed or something you know or whatever so it's like to me you, you gotta really like. Pay attention to that, like how yeah. your tattoo is healed. Don't don't ignore it. Don't just blame yeah. it. Your client. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I do like to see my tattoos healed, but my clientele, like, I mean, it's all over. Like, right. I don't have you my, travel a lot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a local clientele, so right, I don't right. get to see my heel pics. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I, I want to see something, but then they'll send you a picture that should be like fucked up, dark, and they taking it in bed with their dogs and shit. <laughs> it's like, ah, I can't use that picture, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, uh, clients take the worst heel filled photo, so like. Yeah. I got a thing that my buddy sent me. Well, he told me I can use, but uh, I got to find it. That I'll send it to you. But he, it's a whole thing to tell you, and it's like examples of how your clients should send photos, heal photos mm, to you, okay, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, take definitely. the photo, or the because lately I've been like letting my clients email me their arm, leg, or whatever piece I'm doing, mm-hmm. and I draw on that first. I don't fucking yeah, I don't yeah. even draw. You know what I'm saying? All right, I just, just take the put a reference here. Because yeah, I do realism, so. Shout out to realism. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, y'all motherfuckers that draw. <laughs> yeah. Shout, Shout out to y'all. y'all. Yeah, 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 for real. Yeah, yeah. Three, day, three and four days, dog, trying to get a design up, bro. That's, yeah. that's Just for the client to be like, yeah. you know what? It's cool, but I really want to look like this, though. And then you like, soul crush. <laughs> I just had that the other day, bro. <laughs> Man. Bro, you know how mad I was. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Bro, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about say, you look, I'm about to say you look different. You draw the day of, like in front of him. Yeah. So you're like, that's because I stopped doing this shit. You say you didn't happen so many times. It's like, like, all right, I'm going to wait till you're here. Yeah. I, now I will have, like, kind of a mock up. Like, yeah. all right, what you think about this? And I gauge off their, like, facial expressions. Ah, okay. Yeah. What do you don't right. like? About <laughs> right, right, right. That's a good question, too, to ask them what they don't like. About right, right. You know, I right, said, so like, or what's the main focal point in this piece that yeah. you think is important for you, bro? <laughs> I just had this client just like she put in a half sleeve. She put in like fifteen things that she wanted in this half sleeve, and I nope. was like, uh, "Nah, that ain't gonna work." You know what I'm saying? Let's take, let's take this main element, which was I think I do a lot of fucking clocks too. She wanted this clock. And these flowers. So I was like, yo, let's just focus on that. Mm-hmm. And then those little elements, we can add them later on. Right. But I had I did the design with all the shit that she wanted in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I did the design the way I wanted it to look. Right. You know what I'm saying? I came out, I showed her her design first, and I told her how jumbled up it looked, you know what yeah. I'm saying, compared to 
how big and how nice this would look without all this stuff on it. And immediately she was like, oh, I love yours better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It only took yeah, that's, extra. That's usually a good thing to do. It's right. like, all right, but Georgia artists ain't doing it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on what client. I don't do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, it depends on what client it is, because like, if someone would be like super gun ho about it, it's like, all right, let me put this together so you can see how much of a mess this is. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to show you what I got. Ah, uh, yeah, you right. Right. Yeah. I tried to tell you that in the email, but yeah. that's the biggest with reverse psychology take. sometimes, I'll definitely right? Say that, but I just know a lot of artists that won't do that. I yeah. think I think because of like a lot of people say it's sentimental to them and stuff like that. Yeah, all, all these stuff. You know what I'm saying? To us being an artist, as artists, we have to make it happen. But without, all you're not a magician. Yeah, right. Yeah, without all, you know, and it's a way that you can talk to them. And, yeah, you, yeah. You ain't trying I to do like agree. disrespect them. Yeah, right, right. I agree with that. Yeah. I, I used to disrespect people a lot. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. Yeah. Like we said, people soft these days. You, know what I'm <laughs> yeah. you can't talk to them like that. Like, well, you can't talk to anybody. I feel like you can educate them. Yeah, uh, that's that's why I always say I'm not gonna be a dick, but I, I, I'm gonna educate you. Yeah, it's, it's it's our responsibility. Like, yes, yeah, we can say no to a client, but at the same time, like, it's how you say. You, it. Yeah, you gotta explain like how you say it and then explain to them like why it's not. I feel like a lot of I times, said no five times we in just a nice way. we just yesterday. get you know we get in our feelings because they don't like our design, right? And Bro, they want me, their, I do. Yeah. Right, but but then. How many times have you, in the past, right, you might have gotten your feelings and you're like, you know what, fuck it. I don't even want to tattoo you no more. And then yeah. you just lost out when yeah. really if we took maybe like 15 minutes to like, all right, I'm going to explain to you. Like, this is, um, we can we can do a quick little mock-up. You can see your concept and see when you put it on your arm, you ain't going to be able to read nothing because it's too much. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you do something like what I'm trying to show you, it's going to be a much more cleaner, readable tattoo. And then... I, a lot of times you, you they leave come that out decision in their right. hands, so it's like exactly, yeah. it's not like yeah. you making them do it, but right. in mm-hmm. kind of like reverse psychology. No, like exactly. Like, yeah, I want you to do this, but I'm gonna give you the option. Yeah, but, and nine times out of ten, they are gonna choose your option because they they like, you know what, you are the professional, and you kind of explaining it to me now. Like, I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, and now, like, now I'm seeing it. I can see what you're talking about. Right. It's gonna be that one. It's always right. gonna be yeah, that yeah, one. You always gonna have it. one who's just headstrong. They're like, you yeah, know what? nah, I want it my and then. It's up to you. Like, do you yeah. want to make some money or do you want to be like, fuck it? I don't even feel like dealing with it. My question is to that. Um, are you going to do that when you, like, got a tattoo, like, three clients a day? I mean, well, for me personally, at my point of career, I usually only focus on one a day because I'm doing, like, yeah. you know, one, like, six-hour session, yeah. seven-hour. Mm-hmm. So, but if I if I was back in, like, walk-in mode, try to knock out a little bangers, um, nah. Yeah, I mean, if I know <laughs> yeah, I got somebody that's, coming that's in, too, yeah, 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 I know these. Yeah, that's what they, you know, they, yeah. they want to hear that. You know? So when they do come in, like you said, if I, so you're saying I have three people lined up, or they're walking in. So you already got. They say you already got two more appointments. Oh, got, so like, I already tell them. Hey, I got somebody. Like right now, I say I got somebody at two. I say, hey, what are you trying to get? I'm trying to get this. Okay, cool. I got somebody at four. So you need to make sure this is what you want. If not, we could just do this one tattoo. Because what happens I'll is when they come in, they don't know. Just you got a four o'clock, so I let them know, yeah. Like, hey, I have a slot for you. So right. you tattoo multiple people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're so out you, two or three. this is how I do. If I'm doing XL, I got one. If I got a large, I can maybe do a small one that day. Yeah. I could do two medium, or I could do like four to five small ones in that order. It, it, yeah. it never changes for me. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. I, was, I like that. That's yeah, Bryson, he, he he does really well. Like. Explaining to clients like because he, he does he does get like a lot of times you get those clients who want those like small Pinterest tattoos but they want like a whole bunch of shit in them and he's got to explain to like all right look this ain't gonna work yeah but like I it's like it's rare like we, what maybe like one out of every ten might leave upset because like no like, shoot I say one out of like sixty bro yeah like, yeah no I, mean, I like right. those Pinterest days I still do like walk ins yeah I mean yeah I like I like, I'll take I'll take I got nothing against walk ins is um but like if I if I'm booked up though with, with bigger shit, I'm I'm gonna focus on that. Yeah, yeah you got but, to. You yeah, right, to. right. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. You have to because it takes time. It takes man. You spend time trying to design a sleeve, putting stuff yeah, together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then somebody come in just wanting a hundred dollar tattoo, and not right. to knock that hundred dollar tattoo, but if you got a shop full of people, I mean, I guess everybody can do that hundred dollar. Anybody can right. do that hundred dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my go to is like you said, if somebody comes in like at that time, I just say, hey, would you want to book an appointment? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I try to do all my stuff on appointment only. Yeah, mm-hmm. face it. You know what I'm saying? Because 
Like a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Right. I just got divorced like a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. I'm back in a relationship. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, right. Back on, back again. Yeah. Too, yeah. Too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just moved to a new place from out here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm trying to build my clientele. So it's a lot that I'm trying. And trying to learn how to navigate this algorithm stuff. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's something. Um, I think we all still figuring out, bro. I just posted yeah. this. Yeah, at this I point, like, like yeah. You just got to, like, <laughs> fuck the likes, fuck whatever. I mean, like, somebody going to like I know how to get viral. Yeah. I'm just not going to do it. I, I say the biggest thing for tattooers, you know, like, don't worry about gaining a whole bunch of followers and likes and all this. Like, as long as you stay like booked quality up. quality of followers. Right, exactly. Like, it, yeah, the if quality. you only got 50 people liking your, liking your shit, but those 50 are getting good shit, paying your prices, and, and referring other yeah. people to you, yeah. then that's that's good. You're good. If you stay booked up, that's good. You don't need if you don't you don't need twenty thousand. You start now. Start getting 000. those pieces right. that cater more towards what you like to do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. These past you know, two months, I've been getting word of mouth. So I got a question. Yeah. What about wearing headphones? I don't wear headphones. Nah. I'm too paranoid. Yeah. I'm too I like, paranoid. I let my. So clients, actually, I, mine's is simple. I'm just a paranoid I guy. I would every only time I put an AirPod in, and I only do one. It's like so they'll tell you like I'm a huge Hawks fan, right? Yeah. So I like if it's a Hawks mm -hmm. game on and like you gotta wait. So I usually try to turn on the TV, but if right. my client is really into whatever they're watching, that man getting that phone. Yeah, I'll put it like I'll put it on an iPad or phone, not just listen in my ear. But um, but most like I still at least have one ear open, so I can still talk to them. I don't want them to feel like I'm shutting them out. I got ADHD so bad, so I have to like you a headphone guy. Yeah, I am. Um, but I tell my clients that. Yeah, I, I really, feel like, yeah, if you tell them ahead of time. I really like, don't talk when I'm tattooing. Yeah. I'm Honestly, like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, ping damn, bro. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm in it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, and I hate to yeah. cause anybody to break that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, mm. I would say if a client doesn't talk to me, then I'm like that. But yeah. if they do talk, I'll always respond. Oh, but, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not like a for sure, for conversation sure. starter, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm adaptable. If you talk, we're going to talk. You feel yeah. me? But if you're not gonna talk, and I'm, I'm I prefer I not to yeah. talk when I'm outlining though. Oh yeah, I yeah. Outline that. is like my focus time. Like, yeah. all right, I'm like, I'm gonna I'll talk listen, to you. But I, well, I got the worst outlines in the world. I could, I, like, I if I from. if I I say the best time to talk to me is when I'm turning around, dipping in the air. Yeah, yeah. So how was your day? Yeah. All right. <laughs> do you do you think like um, because I've been working on a private studio for a couple of years, and okay. I've now moved to a bigger. Uh, what do you call it? Walk in studio? What do you call yeah, it? walk in mm -hmm. shop. Yeah. I hate when they say street shop. That shit yeah. is bullshit. But it's like walk in. You just call it a tattoo shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's weird working with 10 people now. Yeah, you're going from like a small, intimate set into like. It's weird. Yeah. A bunch of personalities. Yeah. Is it like, how how do you feel like um like going from like that private studio back to a walk in shop? Is it like, are you getting along with everybody type? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I it's get along different with everybody. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, are we cool? cool. Yeah, we, everybody, everybody I work with cool. You that's, know? That's, that's, the, uh, that's the biggest thing I would yeah. say. Like, yeah. Sometimes it ain't the number. It's just like because you can have like three artists, but if one or two of them artists, it, it, yeah, some some assholes oh, you or have, have that, drama, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it, it'll make your time terrible. I, I do like private studio better. Okay. I feel you feel like why do you like private studios better? I would I say cater to my client. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You I can't you can't give them like more personal one, experience. One on one experiences. We watch movies. We watch mm -hmm. whatever you want to watch. You want to catch up on like Netflix or something right. like that. We is. I feel in my career that I feel like it's better for my clients to watch a movie or a show or something. Mm -hmm. They also sit longer. Right, They're right. Also not like, imagine if you was getting a tattoo on your chest and just looking up at the ceiling for oh, yeah. six hours. Yeah. I, I'm 100% like, I, I'll yeah. see like, got the I, TV, I get you some ammunition though. Uh, I know a lot of clients don't like this. It's like, uh, if they're in the shop and they're the last one to oh. leave, <laughs> Like everybody, like you're done with your tattoo. You're dipping out. He's done with his tattoo. He's done with his tattoo. My client, like, why am I still here? Oh yeah, they they, get, uh, they lose. Oh yeah, they. they like, you usually probably got like an hour that. to two hours after they, that because they they pain tolerance just go out the window. Yeah, the really? TV still on. It's like they I feed off a psychological. So, yeah, it's like oh, I'm. In, really? It's like my brother in pain over there. We we brothers together in pain. Yeah. So it's like they leave like oh fuck. It's like I'm by myself. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you said we can we can do another se uh, another session. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I don't know what it is. It, it's 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 weird. Well, I guess wait if you if you yeah, got I a never private paid attention, maybe yeah. it has happened. Yeah. I, never I mean, it could just be. I mean, exclusive to our shop. Yeah, like, I mean, a lot a lot of us get along, so it's like yeah. even yeah. our so, clients get along. They yeah. don't even know each other. Yeah, just right. like yeah. that's what I like about the open yeah. shop vibe. Yeah, it's, it's like we our clients talk to each other sometimes. We talk like we go around talking to each other. 
Mm-hmm. We shit, we shout across shop sometimes, just throwing hypothetical bullshit out there, you know, just mm-hmm. whatever. And then we'll throw some on TV yeah, and we'll all talk. get involved with it. It's right. cool because it's small. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's not. It's like, like we're all together, kind of. Yeah, right. it's not like a 2,000 square foot building and you yelling, like, <laughs> right. over here yeah, to, yeah. to a client or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That get on my nerves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can definitely see that. And then that one that one client over here tried to talk over this client and it's like, yeah. Man. Here go my headphones. I'm putting on my headphones, then. Right, right. Yeah. At that point, yeah. Too much going on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm so do you feel like um a lot of your clients can like when you actually let me ask you like when you do a color portrait like what's the usual like length of session? Can you finish in one session? Or you, you like to do it two sessions? What, what's your depending normal go to? Depending on the uh, the size of it, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If it's if, if it's bigger than a sheet of paper, mm-hmm. we're gonna do two back to back. Okay, day. okay. You know what I'm saying. So uh, how, like is it? How hard is it to get you to get people to come back to back, or do you feel like it, it works pretty well for you? So you tell them that in the email before, and they they cool. already got it. Okay, yeah. cool. like don't do it last minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because cause tomorrow I got tomorrow I got a back to back piece to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, starting a back piece. Okay, and, good question. Uh, Give them time how, to wrap their head around. How do you yeah. charge now? Do you do half day, full days, or you just still do hourly? So it's weird, man, because like I'm in a new city, mm-hmm. so I got so you, yeah. I got to figure out the balance. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to figure out like. <laughs> What should I charge? How much? Right. How region much? you work in? Yeah. Right, right. That's a big factor. So it was, it used to be fifteen hundred. That's that's, that's why I do. Yeah. Well, fourteen. Uh, I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Same. You know. Uh, but I'm at this other shop now, so I got to like. Are they like? Uh, they're more like an hourly type of shop or something, or? Yeah, it's like a walk-in shop. So I got you. Yeah, like, it's kind of hard to yeah. say fifteen and. Yeah. Someone in the shop. People though. Like right. people, people like will pay. Because you got my your problem yeah. is it's my fault because I always like I don't never charge people what it's worth. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, uh. I do it a lot too, man. Yeah. Like especially like if if it's like a a big back piece or like full sleeve, I really want to get it done. Yeah. So I'm like, look, man, I know fourteen hundred a session might be intimidating. Like yeah. well, shit. Like if if I take if I give you this little slight discounted price each session, like just finish it. Like I just I just want to see this done, you know? Yeah. So I can post it, have some dope in my portfolio. So I'll do that a lot too. Um but so I, I would say definitely say that yeah, like a lot of times you're never gonna get your true worth as an artist. Like yeah. But I would say just long just get enough to feel like you're justly compensated. Like, you know, like don't don't shoot it so low where it's like, damn, like I done gave you like a three thousand dollar piece for like four hundred bucks or something. You know what I'm saying? Like no, never. Right, 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 right. I always say it like this. Um, don't look at the lump sum in one go. It, yeah. It, trust me, it come because they'll bring yeah, more right, clientele right. or your work will bring more clientele. Yeah. I look at long term. Yep, yep. That's yeah. a good way to look at it. Because I didn't had I didn't finish something where five people said now nah, I have to get a leg sleeve now. Okay. Yeah. So when you do those back to back sessions, like are you? Are they both full day sessions or like ones like the second one's like a half day or? Mm, it just depends. It depends on um, how big the piece is. Okay. You know yeah. The first day is gonna be like I'm I'm kind of like mapping out everything. Mm-hmm. You know I got you. Um, but say if I'm doing half sleep here, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and get everything done down here first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what? Um. I'll, then I cause them less up. pain. Yeah. I got you. So like, what's the you you won't go past like eight hours in a day or something like that. Shit, or? The other day I worked eleven hours. Shit, yeah. damn. All right, um, <laughs> those those. But that's what you had to get it done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, I was traveling, and uh, I had to get it done. Yeah, yeah. So I know, I understand. If you had your choice, like to get the best possible tattoo, like you would do, like, you would break it up. What like six hours? Six. Six. Uh, okay. I that's think fine. after six, I get me mentally, I get like bored. And autopilot. I get tired. Which yeah. you don't go. <laughs> yeah. It's autopilot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get bored after six. I can give you a good solid six. Yeah. Six, it going to that seven, eighth hour. I'm like, I'm like well, on fumes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this year I decided not that to go past. Or, yeah. I did it one time. And it, I, it bit me in the ass a little bit. Yeah. You, know, you got other, you, you, you got a life too, though. People yeah. Don't right. They're yeah. just looking at us like tattoo artists that we supposed to be there on this time. And this, right. You know, there used, used to be times that people call me and I, and I would just up and run. But I got a life. And then I right. have this other tattoo that I got to spend time on. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then I'm burnt out. 
yeah. in the first right. three hours. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. damn, why I'm so burnt out? Because I didn't get the proper rest, the yeah. proper no. sleep, the proper whatever. Be the That's real, man. Like, you know? I know it's like we like to glorify the, the grind culture in tattooing. And, yes, you do have to grind and go hard, but you also got to take care of yourself, too. Like, because yeah. yeah. burnout is real. Yeah. That's yeah. Just, go out yeah. there and be in nature and shit. Like, yeah. You know, be with your family. One time I was, one time I was uh, at the shop and I was booked up for like a year or something. I'd never do it again. Oh, yeah, that's why. I was going, yeah, yeah. So do you, never like, do it close your books now, open, close? Or you... Some motherfuckers are always open. Oh, you feel me? Yeah, I ain't you, closing. I ain't opening. You just stop looking after a certain point. Because I, yeah. I get to the point I can, I don't, if I don't want to do that tattoo. I'm right. You, it, you know? So do you do you tell people, like, nah, yeah, this, I, this idea doesn't really work with my skill set? Or do you just, like, refer them to another artist? Or you just yeah, I refer them. Okay. Yeah, I just oh, No, no, don't ignore them. Yeah, okay. good tip. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I always, don't always ignore refer. those emails. Hey, yes. but sometimes your clients, though, for real, though, if you don't email them back in, like, 24 hours or 36 oh, yeah. hours, dog, they're like, they, they ain't fucking with you no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm trying to find a thing that's saying, like, an auto thing that's saying, hey, give me, like, 24, 36 hours to, right, to right. respond. Because, shit, man, like, when I get off work, bro, yeah, you don't want to. I'm trying to head yeah. home and chill. You know what I'm saying? Like drink exactly. some wine. A little different. Right, okay, what's the red wine, white wine? What? Bro, I love me some white Cabernet, bro. Okay, Cabernet. I yeah. almost bought some, but it was too early for that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the Lord's Day, you know. So yeah, we could have we could have broke bread. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black and gray, I can go a little farther, but color, I yeah, quick two yeah. sessions. I, I say two sessions. Yeah, automatic. I think I, like max for a day for me is like eight hours because, like you said, I, mentally I just be like not here no more. Mm-hmm. I'm just yeah working <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's hard. And then sometimes people, I used to smoke a long time ago, man. Mm-hmm. Those smoke breaks add up too. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. 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 And I don't smoke no more. Thank God, I'm, bro. I stopped that shit. Damn, I'm happy I stopped smoking. Yeah, man. Nah, that's... Long-term health, man, you know what yeah, so. bro. It was crazy. I woke up one day. I was like, man, I ain't smoking. <laughs> <laughs> you just did it. Hey, that's, that's, that's well, you know, I ain't smoking. Everybody got that willpower, though, you know, so. Oh, weed, that's fine, but, like. Cigarettes. Oh, you talking about cigarettes? Black and Miles, bro. I should be on them oh, things. You know the crazy? I love the smell of a black and mild. They smell yeah. good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I it tastes it. horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you smoke a black and mild <laughs> next to me, I'd be like, this is good. a wonderful yeah, day for yeah. me. Yeah. I love this smell. All right. So, um, so what do you like to do, um? Outside tattooing to help you kind of relax and just kind of reset so you don't get burnt out. Because you've been at it for a while. Yeah, I travel a lot. Uh, okay. uh, man, I like to sit at home, hang out with the fam. Family, man. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I I'm like definitely chill. learning that. Like, I, I, it was crazy because like, I was married for like some years. Mm-hmm. I got divorced. And in that marriage, it was so weird because... We were two different people. You know how that shit go. We ain't going to talk about that too much. But <laughs> mm-hmm. Now I'm dating like my girl. My girl, like my best friend. Like like, right. like I feel like I can talk to her about everything. You know what I'm saying? So I go home and chill. Like, you. I don't, yeah, I, you don't get... I don't, hang, I don't hang out no more. Gosh. I don't, I don't party no more. I don't go to clubs and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just... The most I do is go out to a restaurant with you. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah, we go to... Yeah, if you watch sports, I watch sports. Yeah. Oh, bar is fine. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's not like going out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> going out, going out mean not coming home to like two, three. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> you used to go hard at those uh, convention after parties, man. Bro, I you still go hard at those. Bro. Okay, you know, like, you know me, I got to be the after party at the convention. Nah, I don't do that shit no more. Fuck I feel you, man. Yeah, I do. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Depending on what convention it is. Yeah, you know, yo. Right, yeah, like, my man started whining. Hey, you, so, you said yeah. no, and then you start whining down each time. I'm yeah, like, yeah. What's going on here? I do. Well, I mean, yeah. as long as you balancing, man, everything, bro. I don't bro. stay out. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't you stay know. out like that, though. You know, yeah, 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 you yeah. ain't getting blackout drunk, yeah, then yeah. missing your appointment the next day type deal. So, damn, that used to be me though, for real. Long time ago, I used to get fucking blasted. I got mad that day. Hey, man, it's yeah. I, I say like your first yeah, like yeah. younger yeah. tattoo is when you yeah, in that we made it home at that four. phase of your career, bro. It's shit. If you if you choose yeah. to party and shit and go crazy, you know, decided to come in. It is what two. it is. You uh-huh. know what I mean? So yeah. shit, you be here at twelve. Yeah. Well, you still here? Still you didn't. Every now and then, some tattooers they go that route and they just never come back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, as long yeah. as you yeah. reel that shit back in, yeah. yeah it's different these days because I'm older, got kids. You wise man. You wiser now, man. Yeah, I'm at that point now. I'm at that point now. I can I can help artists. Yeah. Right. I, I can help people from all my fuck ups. Right, mm-hmm. you feel me? Yeah. Right, like 
That's great. Do you to feel have. like yeah. these younger artists are listening though? Like when you when you try to that's drop a problem them? I think. Yeah, that they have. I don't think they listen. You got to be firm with their ass, though. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, a lot of artists don't, sometimes don't like to listen to me because I'm going to be very... Keep it real. Yeah, see, that's with you. the thing. You point know point. what I'm saying? Well, fuck them. If they don't yeah, that's what, and that's <laughs> what I say. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, just listen. You know what I'm saying? And you go, That's just a personal like, thing for like, him. We was at the convention, and dude brought up his portfolio to me and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was going to ask you critique. Yeah, yeah. And he was, and he, hey, yo, critique. That truth come out. Critique. Because, man, I got critiqued like three years ago. Boy, them eyes got big. Bro. Fucking hurt my fucking heart, dog. But you need that to, to stay humble and to grow. Like you, you need that soul crusher because yeah, I thought I was a shit too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until he told me what was wrong with my shit, and I was like, oh, fuck you, fuck. <laughs> <you." I didn't laughs> <say that> <laughs> no, nah, but I just I was like, damn, dog. I look up to you, dog. You know, what I'm right? Saying? And he don't, but he'll be proud of me right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I did work on it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's dope. But that's man. what the thing about it. If somebody tell you something, man, take that advice and work. Yeah. It. Right, you know right. what I'm saying, like especially young. It's okay cats, to be right. a little butt hurt, but I mean, take right. the criticism. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, there's some young cats out here, man. Been tattooing three years and crushing the game. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Man, you know, um, nah. It's it, your length of career definitely don't determine how good you are. I would say, but I would say how just how receptive you are to to, to knowledge yeah. and criticism. Yeah. Are you teachable? Yeah, yeah, exactly. A lot of people not teachable. That's the problem. Um, a yeah. lot of people now, like we say, YouTube University taught people. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's great. There's a lot of knowledge out there now, but you still need like that actual human like interaction to someone to really check you and be like, yeah, nah, like, okay, you did that, all right, but all of this right here, nah, nah. I think another factor is people don't want to practice either. No, I I still practice on like, oh yeah, that skin and stuff. My another thing is with these young cats though. I mean, a lot of people like opening up shops. At one and two years into the yeah career. yeah a private student is like yeah a private student that's the that's the go to now it's like and like I got nothing wrong like I feel like if you at the point of career where you can really make a private studio happen to by all means go for it like if you got the clientele you know you you built up enough skills so you don't need to be around a lot of artists I mean you know what you, audience you want to have right. mm-hmm. but yeah like you said you one two years three years you still got a lot to learn you still haven't built your clientele up all the way like don't rush into a private studio just because like. The shop you at hurt your feelings, and yeah. nah, I want to like get back and do my own thing. Like, no, nah, like, you don't get there's other shops there. out there that yeah. you know that might be the right fit for you. you just need to go out there yeah. and still I try. Feel like, it's a lot of them just don't like the the failing part, so they just yeah. trying to do whatever they can to escape it. It's like you're gonna, one thing I can't gonna fail. fail. Like, right. <laughs> some people I know who do have private studios starting off, they're in their head, and people telling them they're the shit. But as soon as they come into the shop, I'd be like. What happened here? Why are you doing it this way? Mm-hmm. Oh, now it's like they got yeah. Yeah, like down. people don't. Some people don't want to be checked, like you said. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. And to me, that's like those artists. That's those artists. I don't really care about helping. Like you know, yeah. like if yeah. as long as you're receptive to actually learning and growing, like I'll share whatever knowledge I, I can with you. But yeah. the moment I try to tell you they're something, living in you bubble. just like you got some rebuttal, and even though like you yeah, know I this ain't is rocking with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. like okay, yeah. all right, you, this is something. Yeah. I'm not even like going hard on you, yeah. Yeah. and like you really feeling yeah. some kind of way. So all yeah. right. Back, but I, I, well, this is the reason why I want to do this. Uh, but the way you do this is wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, been in that private studio. Buddy got his butt. He, his feelings were hurt when I when I critiqued him. I mean, and he told me, he started talking bad about me too the wow. next day and everything. You know what I'm saying? Said I was an asshole or whatever at the convention and stuff. But I had to bring him over and tell him, like, yo, I'm doing this because I believe in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I believe you can get better. If a lot of people don't know. We, if I don't care, I'm yeah. just going to be like, yeah, it's all right. Ass, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go, whatever. It's like, like 200 yeah. motherfuckers in here, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? And I pulled you out. To, to, you know what I'm saying? Right. So just for real. And it, I think that part of me, when I used to play basketball and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I always thought I was the best on the court, no matter how, how shit I'd. MJ got on the court back in the days. <laughs> what I, position you play? You was point yeah, shooting guard. Twenty two. I jump okay. over the motherfucker. I got dunk on. I was shit. Yeah, I okay. was. I was good. You you know uh, you know Jew right? Jew. Uh, yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Jew six twenty. So we, 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 <laughs> <laughs> who, you got, who you got on the court? Both of y'all in y'all prime. What, what's up? Who? I eat Jew ass. <laughs> what can I rap? Right now. <laughs> we always nah, do. nah, Jew good. Nah, yeah yeah. That's that's, you dope, bro. We gotta get him one day too. We gonna talk shit, but that's my dog. He was good. Yeah. He played at Alabama and them, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Really, really good, really good. You know what I'm saying? But on the floor though, we get in that square. 
There's only one gonna come out of that thing. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's how I felt though. You know right. what I'm saying? Like that's. No, I understand that mentality. Yeah, you got, you gotta have it. It's that Kobe mentality. Hey, but shit, sometimes bro. I'm like that at tattoo conventions. You, nah, same. Like I really think I'm the best person in it in, in the building for real. Mm-hmm. It's good to but have. But I don't fun. act yeah. that way though. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the key right there. You yeah, feel me? yeah. Like I don't act that way, but when I'm about to tattoo, especially when I'm about to enter this thing in the contest, exactly. bro, I'm about to put on one thousand percent of my everything I know. Exactly, tattoo, bro. You, you know like if you, I feel like a lot of people have the skills, but they like the confidence in themselves, and then that's, it shows in their work when they like the confidence, and then they second yeah. guessing decisions, and then it comes out like a tattoo that's okay, but it could have been yeah. great. But you know, you just you I've, didn't believe. Yeah, I've been calling. I've been called arrogant or or like. Kanye syndromes, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> back in the days, because I believed in myself. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, that's good to acknowledge. Right. Point blank, right. I just believed in myself. I believe I can get better. I can right. believe I can, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's I'm, how I yeah. have. I believe I can get right. better. Yeah. There's, what I always have. there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, but like, I feel like the people who are truly arrogant won't reach the success, the success that you have. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really truly get better once you're arrogant because you're going to just yeah. stay in that same mindset, that same lane, you know? I learned from everybody, man. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about it. I learn every day. I try to. Dog, I stay on Instagram more than I stay on anything. Just to, when I when I get zoned in on a picture. Right. Yeah, I actually zone. Like, yo, damn, he really killed that. Right. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, really study shit. You know what I'm saying? And right. a lot of people just scroll down and just look. Ah, they just that's, like. That's, you know yeah. I study like, a lot. Like, a lot of these kids got to understand. They need to learn this ink. You know, they need right. to learn. They, like I teach people, there's a cool. To every color, there's a cool and a warm. To no matter yellow or you know what I'm saying, right? You know, if you got yellow, if I'm using all cool tones oh. on this thing, I'm not gonna dip in a. Uh, I'm going from like a cool green to a uh, to a yellow. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna dip in a warm yellow. I'm gonna dip into a cool green because yeah. it, it's mm. so har- harmonious. You know what I'm saying? The, Right, just the blends is. No, oh, you know, I'm what? glad you said it about the black. Right. So I learned this probably like a week or two ago. So black is just a really dark blue. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Then I was like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's what. If you paint, you know that uh, black is blue. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, um, when you paint the way we paint, like especially on uh, with uh, limited palettes, you darken your colors with the uh, ultramarine and stuff like that you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so ultramarine really is ivory black you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah. and then you can adjust you know what I'm saying there's a there's a way I want to show yeah. some people how to do color portraits just with only three colors yeah, yeah. I mean sure, I would love to see that really yeah. showed me you doing uh, the seminar, I definitely got it yeah. I was gonna um, so I, that brings me to since we're talking about that like when you're doing color portraits I know some artists like to um, you're kind of separating the thirds right you got like a certain like third is like your warm tones, and a certain third is more like cool tones and stuff like that. Like, um, how do you feel about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's all about painting because okay, okay. anything like closer to the skin is going to be warm, mm-hmm. like yeah. you, like nose, nose lips, mm-hmm. these your lips and stuff like that. And yeah. and mostly, I think it's yellow or yellows up here at the top. You okay, know what I'm saying? so do you approach that like you, each third? You you using a different palette of inks? Like you're not doing the same palette throughout the whole face. It's like you might dip into like, like I yeah. said, if I'm blending some, I might dip into some warmer tones here. Yeah, and I'm blending into some cool tones up exactly. here. Exactly. Like I'm, like constantly like dipping in, you know. what I'm saying okay. like, like here's the T shape. Yeah. More warm. You know, all depending on the person that I'm tattooing to, uh, <clears throat> their skin tone. You okay. Know what I'm yeah. it, it, that plays a bigger part too when you're doing color portraits. That's why I make it so hard tattooing their skin. But there's ways that now all these inks and stuff out, man. You don't have to mix. Yeah. Yeah. You just pour your palette, and there's a there's a uh, thing that I use uh, called Ink Maps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've seen that app. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can like put a reference and then like what, it just tells you what inks it is. Yeah, you can pull out your inks and tell you how to mix your inks. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Okay. If you don't have that ink. You know what I'm saying? So you feel I like it's worth it like, though? Hell yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Man, nah, yeah, I was, I was thinking about like, you know, but I know it's, what, it's like a subscription, right? Or like, Yeah, I got a code for you. Don't worry. I got right, you. Good looks. Good luck. Um, <laughs> but uh, quick art. promo. Yeah. Right. <laughs> for you. Hey, what is that man doing on the camera? But uh, <laughs> I was gonna ask you since we were talking about uh, conventions a little bit earlier. Um, you do contests a lot. So how do you like? How how? What's your mindset in doing a a contest tattoo? Like to to win it? Like you know what I'm saying? Like what do you do? You feel like judges are looking for certain things, or do you feel like you got to lock in a certain way, or what? 
man, judges are bullshit because some of them yeah. don't be knowing for real. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, like, there was one time I did a portrait, dog, and I put like, uh, <laughs> this shit's so crazy, dog. I put skin pores in it because I did like hyper realism. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he came to me. He was like, uh, man, you had dots in the face. I was, like, that's, I was like, what? That is funny. Yes, you didn't win first place because you had dots in the face. I said, yo, it's a hyper realism thing. And this. You did traditional tests? Nah, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, we ain't going to talk about it. Yeah, but it's. Nah, I fuck with y'all. Let me stop saying Let me stop saying that because they're going to hate me out there for saying that. But anyway, uh, I try to me, I try to do something that I know nobody at the tattoo right. convention going to do, even if it's free. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So that's, that's the goal. Like, you know so how do you. Because you. Like, um, what's your mindset when making these designs, like, to make it different, you know? Like, how do you, how do you create yeah, something? Seen it before. Cre- yeah. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I follow a lot of tattoo artists. So I've pretty much seen a lot of, a lot of designs and stuff like that. And I do mimic, not like saying I still they work, but. Yeah, you, you get inspired how, by someone, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like inspiring to see, like, my buddy Mike Perry, man. If you follow that guy, man, God dang, bro, he. I think I've seen some of his work, bro, but I'm, I don't. Bro. I'm gonna check it out after this. Bro, the way he his compositions mm-hmm. are, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that bitch can be a fucking some kind of animal, but he mm-hmm. throw like some planets around it. Right, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that shit does not go together. But he makes it look like it go together. Bro, what? It's One of my so favorite nice. artists right now that does that. His name is Roberto Sanchez. I know. Yeah. 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 I love that man's work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's got some. He's dope. You know what I'm saying? Nah, there's, there's some artists out there who just doing some crazy shit. Like, a lot of them tend to not be in America, too. A lot of noticed. is like. No, Mike here. I mean, yeah, but it's some, you got some Europeans and South, like, Latin Americans and That's shit. That's convention I ever been to yeah. was Italy, overseas. I never seen that. Oh, yeah, many. tell yeah, tell us about that, bro. I never seen was that Milano? many. Uh, Venice. Venice? Okay. I never seen that many uh, dope ass tattoo artists. Shh, bro. Like, in one one room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, who gonna win tattoo of the day? Because there's a lot that I see in here. You know right. what I'm saying? How'd you get like how'd you get into it? Like just website and so that, or you knew somebody? This thing just flashed up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On, on Instagram and I and I emailed them and then I asked them how much it gonna cost. And they was like, uh I think it was thirty uh, I think it was thirty two hundred dollars. 3,200 euros or some shit like that. But come out to like a, what, thousand, I'm guessing, or some no, U.S. dollars? No, no euros is real yeah. close oh, to the shit. U.S. dollars. So that's how much the booth is? Uh, yeah. Damn. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, I mean, okay. the best, the best. Hey, the best by, of the best in that bitch. By, by yeah. far, the best money I ever yeah. spent. Because you get in seminars, technically, from you just go walk up to some artists and, shit, I'm, yeah. damn, what are you doing that? Yeah. Like, these guys gave it to us, man, and they gave it to us raw. They gave it to us without holding out. A lot of times you pay for seminars, people don't tell you everything. Okay, so this is actually a seminar. Not yeah, a, yeah. This, oh, this, okay, okay. I'm thinking it was a uh, convention. The convention was afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah. So we did, we did, we did three days of tattooing. You know what I'm saying? So they tattooed live. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. And you sitting up there watching them tattoo, ask any question you want, and they would just tell them everything. You think they, do they do it every year? They stop doing it, bro. Oh, I'm about to say we gotta take a trip, man. Yo, Italy, bro. I want to email Buddy and tell him to do it again, man, bro. Me and Christian yeah. always been talking about we want to do that yeah. uh, Barcelona. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it, yeah. I think it's time yeah. we we really look into that because yeah. it's time to get it's out. Another space, one, man, um, and really get that. It's called like the Planetarium or some shit like. Yeah, that. yeah that's dope. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's super dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I even t- I, I took a Steve Butcher. Um, oh yeah, seminar. we saw him at. Well, I, we never took a seminar, but we did see him at the the New York. Convention, yeah, him a lot of yeah, yeah. I said and watch him for. I was yeah, I was learning from him. Like, does he have anything like super unique to him, or is pretty much kind of the same? Uh, to me, I think he's knowledgeable at what he does. Okay, so you just take what he do and put it in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, you're back. Basically, it's all this stuff is the same, mm-hmm. but it's just techniques. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, different yeah. techniques to stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. Those round shaders and stuff, that's that's what he uses okay. for, for all this stuff. So he uses all round shaders? Nah, he uses mags, round shaders, liners, just like gotcha. I said earlier, but it's the it's how you use them. I kind of like how oh, you I said do. now, why you say, look at my hands, be asked why yeah. I do this versus mm-hmm. stop asking the machine and ink. Yeah. What right. about me who actually does yeah. it? Right, right. Yeah, don't ask about, I get a lot of people asking me what needles you use, what, yeah. ink, <laughs> right. what inks you use, what I give you the, you use. You know, I can give you my same exact yeah. setup. Yeah. 
I could do the stencil for you, all this, and you still ain't going to tattoo it like me because you're not right. understanding why I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My my the hardest thing for me now is in color portraits is uh I'm trying to learn how to put these colors in shadows. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the hard when I see. So are you mixing it with like darker tones with yeah. with that and kind of like I see gray in somebody's skin. I'm trying to mm-hmm. get to that gray, and I'm trying. I don't know. I'll be painting, and I'll be trying, right. You know, I don't know. So I'm, I'm yeah. gonna play with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's you know, a great approach. Sure uh, they do, but they actually you doing oil painting over hmm? the skin tone with oil paint? Oh, yeah, I, sh- I do. I do oil. I was going. Yeah, he had um. So how do you feel about like layering? Like once you put like your base layer, and then you kind of come in with a top layer, kind of like lightly painting or, or on the tattoo. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I do. When I tattoo like something color, I just try to put a base in first, mm-hmm. and then I come back over it. That base is like the darker tone. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's, it's kind of like my, uh, it's kind of like a wash of a, of a mid tone. Like I try to start with my mid first. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying you mix it with a little bit of water and water, a lot okay. of water, a lot of water. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, I I'm really just opening up those pores. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. not trying to put the ink in there right now. Okay, you know what I'm saying um, there's there's a lot of approaches you can do. You can do blood lining. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. bloodline your whole tattoo. You feel me? Do you and believe I'm, in, do you I'm, like bloodlining or not? I really? love it. Love it. Okay, I love bloodlining my whole tattoo. Then I can just like I can take the lightest wash. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And in my dark areas, I could just like you know how you do the stippling, right? So you can do the stippling right there, yep. real real fast. Not not super slow. Just get that shit. Just all you're doing is like really is uh, making a permanent stencil. Okay. So your stencil won't go nowhere. You okay. Know what I'm saying. And then you come back in with your colors. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can be more free with it. You don't have to worry about yeah. fucking You don't have to layer it in. So now you know what colors to use. You can do color lit oh, lines okay. and stuff like this. Now you can just go in and punch it in. You know what I'm saying? So when you're doing like that, like almost stipple kind of effect, like are you doing it with um, a round shader or, or a mag? Yeah, or like a three liner. Three liner? You know okay. Saying? I try to use a uh, 0.83 liner. Okay. Uh, so or um, a round shader or whatever that mm-hmm. is. Um, I try to use that. I keep those in my arsenal. You know okay. Why that particular gauge? This is so small. Those are so small, they won't damage the skin. You know what I'm saying? I used to use just 0.8 everything. You know okay. what I'm saying? But it takes forever to tattoo. But it's shit's so smooth, though. Sure. But it just okay. takes, like, it'll take me, say, eight hours to do a portrait. It may take me ten and a half hours just using the 0.8. Shit, but the the results. A lot smoother. Oh, my God, yeah. And then, also, when I'm doing, like, color layering, I'm mm-hmm. using, I think they call tens, 0.8. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten, so yeah. I use those on my coloring. Okay. First, you know what I'm saying? So you pretty much stick to the 8, 10 gauge? Yeah. Then I yeah. sometimes I go to 35s, depend, the, the standard needles. You know okay. what I'm saying? Everything long taper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah I long. use it. Oh, you like curve mags? Or? Yeah, yeah, everything oh. curve. I Finger. can't stand a flat. Same. I, it just, flats don't work the same yeah. for me, I feel like. Yeah. I think it flex in the middle. I think, like, I always had that in the middle where I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The middle of that needle is kind of not. I got more color on the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the thing mm-hmm. I, I end up running into too. Yeah. With flat mags, and it's just not like putting in ink. It's, yeah, it's like you're fighting with it in a way. Yeah, and I'm just so used to the tools that I use. Yeah, um, right. And and it may be different for other people too. You know what I'm saying? So don't take this and say, oh, um, fuck all my flat yeah, mags. Yeah, all flat mags. I no, just used one yesterday. I can't use it. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I, I was doing tribal. Right, I know guys that use flat mags, and I'm like, damn, Say, man, you got, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> do it, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely pay attention to like your needles, uh, invest in your needles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Get some there's good a lot quality. of companies that will. <laughs> you got. I mean, I I've been doing it so long. I've seen so many needle companies come and go. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Uh, but definitely, definitely. Uh, Invest in needles. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, definitely. Um, there are some good needles out of cheaper needles, too, that yeah. I still use, but. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> now, invest in your t- tools, invest in yourself, man. Yeah. Definitely things you, you got to do as an artist. Um, but, man, like. Shit. Take seminars. Yeah, take seminars. Take seminars, man. Yeah. I don't care if you know everything that you think you're going to know. It's something that you don't know, right? You know, take a seminar. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You didn't drop. You drop shit. A ton of gems. A ton of great tips. Like, I I learned a lot just from this convo, man. So, um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, I would say, if you had one last thing, man, to, to drop out, you got one last bit of knowledge you didn't touch on, or just one tip you feel like could change the artist's career. Well, what's that? We we can go out on. 
Shit, I got a lot, but to me, invest, just like you say, invest in yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's big. Invest in yourself. Study. Mm-hmm. Definitely study. You know what I'm saying? Like study the grace. Yeah. You know, I study. Just I'm, don't look at it and and scroll on like you said. Yep. Yeah. I got. I, I. That's my problem too. Oh, that, that's what it is. Ask the question why. Yeah. Right. Ask the yeah. question. Yeah. Why. Yeah. That's huge. Ask why. Yeah. And I want to drop one more thing too is have high standards. Like don't. When I mean by that is like, like you said, like when we're when you're doing a tattoo. And you want to compare yourself, like, don't compare yourself to a buddy down the street who ain't that good, but you you know you're better than right? So you want to feel good about yourself. It's like, oh, yeah, I did better than this dude, yeah. so I'm doing good. Like, nah, compare yourself to, if you did a portrait tattoo, compare yourself to David Vega, one of the best portrait, you know, Steve Butcher, somebody like that. Yeah. And then that way, that always keep you in check. That be like, damn, my shit don't look nothing like this. Yeah. I need to keep working. I need to keep progressing, you know, so. Yeah, I, I definitely, whenever I, when I do a portrait tattoo, I Think about David all the time. You know, right, so, right. Like, what would he do? If it, yeah, if, yeah, and then if that shit ain't yeah. as smooth as his, you know what? Yeah. I didn't. It wasn't good enough for me. Yeah. So his class was great though, man. If anybody want to take a one-on-one class with him, man, yeah, I, I need that. Do it, dog, because I, that class really helped me with the problems I had in my black and gray. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the smoothest guys I probably oh, ever, yeah. ever seen. It's crazy. And, the crazy thing is, he was so excited to meet me, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> why? That's, that's and dope, we just man. talked. Yeah, we friends now. We friends. Right. And it's, shout out to Trent. Trent worked at, at the shop too. The co owner shop man. We buddies. Yeah. I go out to Austin. You know, what I'm saying I mm-hmm. hang out. You know, what I'm saying last time David wasn't there, but me and Trent get to. We talked for a long time. That's good, man. You, you, and that's another thing, you guys, man. Y'all take seminars. Y'all get to create these relationships with yeah. these artists. You know, yeah. and from there, who knows what could happen, right? You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. man. It's Bro, I appreciate you, man. Like yeah, appreciate you, you, you came on. Like you, like I said, I think highly of you, man. So, like, don't be surprised when these great artists are trying to see you and talk to you, bro. Because yeah, you, know you my, one of them too, bro. Yeah. My my shit is always open. My you know inbox me whatever yeah. you want. You know, what I'm saying? I appreciate that, bro. I, I'm like that with everybody. So you can inbox me and ask me whatever question. Yeah, you y'all hear that, man? See, I got questions. Hit him up. He's and when he does a seminar again, don't miss out, man. So. Yeah. Man, again, appreciate you coming on. Uh, Thank y'all for watching this episode. Oh, yeah. We're going to see y'all next time. Peace. See y'all next time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm hungry as hell. No, you're not.